Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Sauer. I'm a mobile solutions specialist here with the USDA APHIS PPQ end user tools team. This is a continuation of an introduction to the ArcGIS field maps application. And in this segment, we're going to talk about a piece of that disconnected workflow, which is downloading a map area. It can be a little tricky and I'm going to show you how to do it well. Firstly, don't forget about the ArcGIS Field Maps user guide and all the steps contained there. Remember the Mobile Data Collection Tools website. Here under the General Training Documents, honing in on ArcGIS Field Maps, there it is. I'm going to click on this and then find ArcGIS Field Maps, there it is. And as you can see, there are two documents, and we want this ArcGIS Field Maps Getting Started Guide. In a previous video, we discussed this disconnected data collection workflow on page six. And now, as you can see, the download map area workflow is on page seven. Jumping down to there, you can see there's step-by-step -step detailed instructions on how to download a map area, including screenshots and every step of the way instructions on how to succeed. For now, I'll leave that to you to look at, and I'm gonna show it to you from the iPad view. This is a APHIS managed PPQ iPad, and as you can see, it has all of the survey applications loaded. So I'm going to open Field Maps. Since I was previously signed into the production portal and created a map previously, it's taking me right into my previously used map. So I'm going to back out of this twice until I get to this maps menu page which will look different for you depending on the groups of which you are a member the groups will be listed here and I'm a member of a lot of groups so you may see something different here but you will in following with the getting started guide for ArcGIS field maps that page 7 download map area. Just following those steps, you will make sure that you are signed into Wi-Fi and I can see that Wi-Fi icon there. I'm going to locate on this map page the group or I will search using the search bar for the map that I would like to download. And I'm going to go ahead and look for the EWBBB map. And now seeing the option of, of the map that I would like, there are three dots or also known as the ellipses or in Esri talk it's called the overflow menu so I will tap these blue three dots and choose add offline area and your initial view is a defaulted map extent of the whole United States probably too much and a level of detail of room, which is probably way too much detail. A default name is assigned, area one. And so there are two things we need to change right away in this add offline area menu. Firstly, the level of detail. And if we tap room, we'll get more options. Probably somewhere in the realm of street to neighborhood is the normal level of detail you might want. We're going to go ahead and do streets with an S and you see there the level of detail is streets now. Secondly, we need to narrow in on our area of interest and it's hard to see right now but that little box is just floating in the middle of the United States. Tapping this little what looks like a paper airplane will zero in on your location. If that's what you want you can go ahead and tap that. You can also use your fingers to zoom in and out tap hold and move where you are. I'm going to go ahead and zoom straight to where I am. That's pretty zoomed in so I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit and let the map load. Once you're sure of the area of interest and the level of detail which is streets I'm going to tap download area. You can see you have a progress circle started. It's going to show you as it progresses the download process the downloaded map title area one and a messaging on the process so currently it says downloading once finished we'll see an updated message it wasn't a huge area that I downloaded but it went very fast we see that the messaging changed it's 17 megabytes that's how much space it's taking up on your device and it was downloaded just now that's going to continue to be updated messaging area one isn't a very great name and you are able to rename it using this again overflow menu you see there's the option to remove 
rename, and you can sync from here if you've added data to this map. I'm going to tap rename and give it a meaningful name. I like to include the level of detail and maybe the center location of that area of interest. So I'm going to say Windsor and I will add streets. That's my personal thing, but you should check with your supervisor on how to name your map areas. And there we are, a map downloaded to our device. What if you need another map area? Let's say we needed one for Windsor and then one for Fort Collins. That's still possible, but now if you go back out to the main map menu, the messaging is different here on this map card. It says offline areas underneath it, which indicates you have at least one offline area. You may have the option to select the overflow menu and download a map area if you see that little arrow or carrot and the messaging that there is already offline areas then you go into the map card you'll see your existing offline area and now the overflow menu is up here to add an additional offline area should you choose again it looks exactly the same the default to extent is the full United States, the default level of detail is room, and by default area 2 has been assigned because field maps recognizes that you already have an area 1. This is your second map area that you're trying to create. So you would go ahead and create this in the same way as you did the other one, adjusting the level of detail and moving and zooming your map to the area of interest you choose and then tap download area and this is where renaming comes in to help you keep track of maps. That's as easy as it gets for downloading an offline area. Mm -hmm.